know that Monroe, Michigan was the home of George Armstrong Custer. Raised in Monroe, George Armstrong Custer graduated from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, New York in 1861. In 1863, he became a Brigadier General and commanded the Michigan Cavalry Brigade. Come on, you Wolverines, was his battle cry while leading his men to victory over the Confederates at Gettysburg on July 3, 1863. Custer commanded a division in the Shenandoah Valley in 1864, and his troops cut off the last avenue of escape for Robert E. Lee's army and across the Max Courthouse on April 9, 1865. After the Civil War, Custer was appointed Lieutenant Colonel of the U.S. 7th Cavalry. On June 25, 1876, he gained notoriety at the Battle of Little Bighorn, where he, 260 others, died. In 1877, his remains were reinterred at West Point. And there's a statue of Custer. January 22nd, 1813. The British light three pounder had a 2.9 inch bore and fired a three pound fireball with useful range of about half a mile. It could also fire canister, which consisted of about 48 musket balls, which were formed like a giant shotgun. But effective range was limited to 400 yards or less. British artillery in North America used a variety of winter sweater arrangements. The exact types used here are not recorded. This three pounder is mounted on a type of winter sled device in 1796. The inventor was the well-known British artillerist Adai, who was stationed briefly in Detroit in the early 1790s and later tested this winter gun and sled design in Quebec.